So the sense. previous video, sorry, Matt, I jumped over you there. Um, <laughs> just so everybody's clear, that was not the normal situation where you see all that water. That was a startup scenario where the system's not balanced. The benefits here are you get more capacity per area. You get more capacity if you need it, but you get a cooling effect here that you don't get with the steam humidifier. Am I get, I'm trying to think of the benefit of, okay, now I'm Mr. Engineer, you need more space. You need a mist eliminator. Yeah. He's like, well, man, I don't know if you know architects, Tony, but they don't like giving up a lot of space. I'm already fighting for uh, putting some filters in this darn unit. You're telling me I got to have this thing. And I'm like, no, no, yeah. no, I'm not telling you that. I'm just saying, if you do this, here's the benefit of it, which is the cooling effect of it, right? I'm just trying to get yeah. my head around well, that part of it. Yeah, well, well, the big thing's gonna be the reduction in operating cost, right? Again, you saw that slide about 0.2 kilowatt hours per, uh, you know, what was it, 35 kilowatt oh, hours for every 100. About so part, massive yeah. energy reductions. And then, yes, so if you don't mind hopping back to the slide deck here, I'll show you an interesting scenario. No, not at all. Scenario well, that he's did the it. I'm, on that one slide, that one video, it, it, the water was cutting on and cutting off. That's just for, that's what makes the video neat. But in, in real world, it's a steady flow, right? It, it doesn't cut on and cut off like that. Is that oh, correct? Right. This, um, is so what, this video is yeah. looping, so yeah. Yeah, it's right, staging. So, it's, um, so each one of these could be potential stages. So this type of system has plus or minus 2% of uh, precision mm -hmm. on the control. So very tight. You'll see this in semiconductor manufacturing. You'll see it in clean rooms and labs, things like that. But yeah, um, during the commissioning, we test the stages to get them to turn on and off, make sure things are spraying as they should be. And to your point, Tony, earlier, that other side where we saw that water, um, the loop for this whole system isn't tuned in. So, you know, we might be spraying a thousand pounds of water in a 55 degree airstream when it was designed for 80. So obviously 55 degrees can only absorb X amount. So that mm -hmm. pad prevented, actually, it was a good video to show how, what that pad prevents, right, from soaking downstream of those, uh, of that pad itself. But yes, you're right. So this is right there. You see it spraying at the end of that video. So it's just the pump that's running and spraying out of those nozzles. But yeah, what I like to show here. So this is going to Tony, you hit a good nail on the head there with the evaporative cooling. We'll really get into it with these slides. And I'd like to show the power of adiabatic systems here. Um, this was a design that we did in the winter season. Busy slide, so if anyone would like to have more detail and kind of go into it, um, obviously reach out to Tony or Matthew or myself, and we can really get granular on what we're specifically looking at here. But the short of it, you can see this project itself. They wanted 7235 for their space conditions. Um, they were bringing us in 55 degree air, 46% RH at 55,000 CFM. In order to get those desired room temperatures, you do all the math and the site chart, we needed a humidification load of 364 pounds an hour or 129 kW of humidifier installed power. We see 55 degree air all the time now coming in due to economizer modes, things like that. But again, this doesn't apply to everyone, but just to give you an example of what you can do with an adiabatic system. And Tom, you made me think of this because of that cooling effect. Well, if we can play and adjust some of that minimum outside air requirement, and we can adjust the amount of air we mix, I do not need you to bring me 55 degree air. I can cool you to 55, okay? So in this case, you see the customer is now was able to, minimum, to lower the amount of damper positioning they, or the minimum amount of outside air they're bringing in. We've mixed in more air, and we now have 60 degree air at 42% RH coming in. So because of that, the moisture you're bringing us has more grains per moisture. Well, what does that do? That actually allows me to reduce the size of the humidifier as well, because not only will we cool you down to that 55, you can see that DEC. So this is direct evaporative cooling. We're cooling your supplier while also increasing the humidity of the space. We actually reduce the humidifier size from 364 pounds an hour to 241 pounds an hour. So we're talking reduction in the humidification load of 34%. Adiabatic humidifiers, you know, they typically have a more higher cost uh, up front for that type of technology. But in this case, we've reduced the humidification load by 34%. So now pound for pound, that price is much more aligned just because of that cooling effect and needing to use less load. Um, we've actually reduced the size of the system. And the big thing here, Tony and Matt, where you can see that other unit had 129 kW of humidification installed power. We reduced that by 128 kW. 
Um, so that's the big benefit right there, mm -hmm. right? That is a massive uh, reduction in installed power just at the humidifier. 